Hey YouTube, this is Brandon at The Edge Pro. One question we get a lot is what kind of hinge do we need for our clipper? And so we're gonna talk about different hinges that they've had, different generations, everything that's still being made, but it's hard to identify and this video will hopefully help us get through that. Um, this goes right along with our wear part series that we're talking about as we've already talked about replacing hinges. So hopefully we find this helpful. helpful. Let's head on over to the repair station and look at those. So today we're gonna to talk about the hinges. We've been talking about them in the last couple uh, wear part videos that we've done and just wanted to take a little time to talk about the hinges that we run into and why it's kind of a difficult question when someone says we need a hinge for their clipper and uh, there's a lot of different hinges a lot of different styles that are going on that we need to uh, ask questions to find out what hinge you need exactly so we're going to kind of go through history a little bit our first hinge is called a 111 hinge and if you look at this it's all these hinges are closed that we're looking at and this one is flat here it took a very specific blade called a 111 blade uh, it's pretty much exclusive to the barber industry and this is andis's version of that hinge uh, they weren't sure how popular it was going to be but they didn't want to get left behind oster was the one who came out with the 111 blades and hinges originally and so andis came out with theirs to be able to work with the oster blades and uh, so this is their version of that. I don't have an Oster 111 hinge here with me right now. Um, the next hinge we're gonna talk about is gonna be our standard animal hinge. And the way we know the difference between an animal hinge and a barber hinge is if it takes this black piece here that we call a latch. And so how do we know which one of all of these hinges takes a latch? Is we'll flip it over to the other side. And if we look, see those two little springs right here? and right here, coming out of the back, that is gonna correspond with these two holes right here and right here. And so to put it back on, what we're gonna do is I like to have the hinge closed and we're gonna line up one spring with one side of the hole and then the other one hooks in and then we're gonna take and push it forward until that latch comes over the front of the hinge right there, and then it holds itself together like that. So from Oster, if you need an animal hinge, it comes as two separate pieces, a hinge and a latch. And so if you order just a hinge, you get just a hinge. If you order just a latch, you get just the latch. So we usually recommend that people get the hinge and the latch. However, the latch really only goes bad when it breaks, and that is when this hook end right here. Oh, let me see if I can stop moving so you can get a picture of it. There, we'll turn it. There, we'll see if we can turn it that way if it catches. Oh, this one's struggling here. There we go. So it's when this hook up here breaks off. So if that hook is still there, you typically don't need the latch. Uh, you just need the hinge. Uh, but if you ever wanna order one, you're more than welcome to do that. So if you order an Andis animal hinge, they don't have the two pieces separately. Whenever you order an Andis animal hinge, you're going to get them together and they may fall apart in shipping. So we just have to put them back together the same way that we do with the Oster. We put one spring on one side, the other spring in the other hole there. Once they're in, we can slide the whole assembly forward and hook it over the front. So if you order an Andis hinge, you get the latch. You get an Andis hinge and an Andis latch. If you need just the latch, you can order that separately, but you can't order the hinge separate from the latch. So that's the way that those two brands work with their animal hinges. We've also talked about this old hinge down here. So a hinge that Andis used to have, uh, pretty popular on some of their animal clippers. They don't, it's not so popular anymore. It's kind of a hybrid between a barber hinge and an animal hinge. And the part to note on this hinge is gonna be right up here in the front, this little curved latch is what it's really called. And it's just a spring latch that creates a little bit more tension against the blade so that that blade doesn't pull away from the clipper. So you don't have a push button latch, you can pull the blades off, but it's gonna have more resistance than what a barber hinge would have. These hinges aren't very popular anymore, uh, but you still do see them from time to time and Andis has still made them available. So these can be ordered from us. Um, they also, this hinge requires a tiny little spring that'll end up going behind it. And it just pushes and puts pressure 
back here on the back part of the on the back part of the hinge like that when it's on the clipper. Um, we didn't talk about this one in any of our previous uh, wear part series because again it's not very popular but worth noting uh, to add to the confusion when someone calls in and asks for a hinge. The last two hinges here are the Andes and Oster barber hinges. This one's our Andes hinge and this one's our Oster barber hinge. And the difference between the barber hinge and the hinge that we just looked at is that instead of having that curvy spring right here, this just comes straight up. So the only thing holding the blades on your clipper is the strength of this hinge right here. There's no added resistance. There's no push button latch that, like this one here that you would have to push. Uh, it's just the strength of the hinge. So when the hinge goes out, your clippers will start falling away from your clipper or your, your blades will start falling away from your clipper. So that's those hinges. We have one more hinge to talk about. And this one is for the Oster or Oster Volt or the Heinegger Sapphire clippers. And there's something unique about this hinge. Uh, it looks just like the rest of or like the rest of the animal hinges that require a latch. But this one has an extra step that we have to do to get it to work sometimes. So the first thing we're gonna do we have to pre-spring, or these springs don't come ready to put the latch on and to work. So the first thing we're gonna do is close the hinge. And if you notice, these two springs are coming right out the back right here. And what we need them to do is to come out of the bottom of the clipper. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take that spring, we're looking straight on it now, so you're not gonna be able to see it, but we're gonna guide that spring around that little wedge shaped piece there so that it comes out down here. So I'll see if I can do this where you can still see something. So I'm gonna hook that spring right here. You can see I've kind of got it under my nail there. And I'm gonna take and wrap it around. Whoops. Take and wrap it around that wedge shaped piece. And now it's coming out the bottom. So if I rotate this, you can see that left hand, or that left spring is still sticking out and the right spring right here is sticking out the bottom. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with this other side. I'm gonna take it, go around that wedge shaped piece and it's sticking out the bottom as well. Now it's just like any other animal hinge. We're gonna take and hook the latch through the holes. And so through there and then we're gonna slide it forward and hook it up across the front. This one doesn't stay quite as well as the rest of them, so you kind of have to hold it together. And this one, the two parts come separately, just like the rest of the Oster hinges. Uh, and it also is a lot more expensive. It's made in Switzerland and imported here. Uh, so this hinge is gonna be the most expensive out of all of our hinges. Uh, so just something to keep in mind there. But this can be, uh, the other brands you think of, if we think of Wall, uh, would be another brand or Lobby or Double K. Some of the other hinges that they're going to run into are all mostly going to be similar to this Oster Animal Hinge uh, or these Oster Barber Hinges. Um, but just wanted to touch base on these popular ones, the most popular ones that we run into that uh, are really confusing to talk about over email or over a message on Facebook or over uh, the telephone. And so we can clarify that with hopefully some pictures hopefully that helps you helps you to identify what hinge you're going to need on your clipper uh, if you found this helpful at all we'd love to have thumbs up on the video uh, leave a comment let us know if this was helpful uh, what kind of hinges do you guys have and then uh, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel and um, we appreciate your your support for what we're doing thank you